Hi, my name is Blake Choker and I am Vice President of BBR Karting. I have been racing for 10 years and for the last 4 years I have been running in the Rotax series. In 2004 I was the Western Canadian Rotax champion. Now that we have removed the jets and the needle and seat, take brake clean and clean all the, the holes and openings to ensure that you have a nice clean carb for reassembly. Take your new needle and seat out and the new gasket and place it back into the hole. With your 9mm socket, put the seat in. If you look carefully, there's five slots. The top is P1 and the bottom is P5. This is referred to for your bottom end. When you want more bottom end, you go up on your pin height. If you have, if it's too lean, you'll want to go down on the pin height. Helps reduce the amount of vibrations in the Rotax at high RPMs, which gives it a smooth ride. Now on the other side of the engine, if you remove this one gear, you'll notice a white gear that's on a shaft. This is where your water pump. This allows you to keep water flowing without having to be driving on the race course because it's internal. So when, you, when it all turns, your counterbalance and your water pump are always turning. That's a clean bellow right there. Now take a big pair of vice grips and grab and twist. And then just pull. When you twist it, it becomes a smaller diameter and it should just slide out. As you can see, the exhaust packing has burnt right here. So it's a good idea that we have replaced this one.